Dear fat people. Beer. I love beer. Yeah. <laughs> beer. Hey, Jimmy audience! Welcome back to another exciting episode of Jimmy Chonga Superstar Podcast. Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back. With your host, Christian Barrick, here on the blue mic. I'm Bryant, on the white mic, as usual. It's white, because it's, it's, it's pure, like his pretty little soul. Yeah, that's what I keep hearing. I just, I got, I didn't even try to get stood up, but I got stood up. You got stood up. Yeah, it's okay. Well, I'm sorry for <laughs> opening with that rather negative comment. Uh, I, I, I just, I guess I'll just jump into it, get out of the way early. Yes. Yeah, sure. uh, with Nicholas Arbor, the YouTuber, uh, she, she did a, uh, a vlog. I guess they're called these days. The, the, the kids are calling them vlogs. Vlog. A vlog. Video log. Oh, okay. Yeah. Nice. She did That's one cool. called "Dear Fat People," which she essentially was just talking about how people are so obese and so unhealthy and claiming that they're uh, they deserve this, they deserve that, and blah, 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 blah. She just went on a very long tangent about health. Okay. And health how, is how sometimes people are taking the idea of, I'm fat, I this is what real beauty is, and then other people are taking it as, I'm disabled because my knees can't take the weight. Yeah. And she's getting pissed at them for it, and she's giving them, like, really hard beat. Now, let me be honest. Yeah. I agree with what she was saying in this video. Okay. But she was saying it like an asshole, so she's getting okay. a lot of flack online. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. So, so for those of you who are who are kind of in that that whole like, how dare she? Or yeah, she's right. Fuck fat people. Yeah, well, first off, yeah, go fuck a fat person because maybe they'll burn some calories. That's not. That's not. It's yeah. not picking on it's them. Always, it's always fun to. This hold coming on from to a something. former fat person who's now just a a chubby person trying to right. become a skinny person. Yeah, I I always like a little bit of something to hold on to personally. Well, that's myself, why, so. that's why you always keep cuddling with me at night. Yeah. yeah. Ah, you caught me. <laughs> so now that we got the the important important thing out of the yes, way, yes, yes, yes. The entire internet is on fire for. Ooh. Fat people are fine as long as you're trying some level to be healthy. Just yeah. come on, guys. Don't. I mean, or if not, if you're happy, I think that's even more important. Well, if you're if you're happy, meth meth addicts are happy. Well, <laughs> see that that's. Would that be a different subject now? I, I don't no. think that would be. Well, you're, you're, you're talking from <laughs> you're talking to someone who once was seriously like a massive food addict. Like yeah, yeah. Someone who just did nothing but, for days on end. But were you happy? Oh yeah, I was happy. Okay, okay. I was really happy, and then it took a few things for me to decide I'm not happy now. Okay. So I made the change, and I'm see, sweating it off. See, I'm that's awesome. Good old Betsy here, the elliptical, ah, which is yes. seriously within arm's reach of me here, the, the chimmy and, gave. And you said you have knee, uh, knee problems, so that's also... I have knee problems, but not because of that. From an yeah. inc- I have an yeah, incidental yeah. N- <laughs> knee problem. Yes, yes, a uh, good old karate kick. A good old, good old, uh, a good old uh, foot stomp. But you yeah. know what? Let's move away from sad thoughts. Let's move yes. into happy thoughts. Let's move into beer thoughts. <laughs> Let's move into root beer thoughts. Ooh. What are we drinking, Bryant? Oh, uh, we have Mission Brewery. Mission Brewery, a brewery we have quite often on this show. Yes, yeah, so Mission Brewery is down in San Diego, California. We're drinking some hard root beer. Yeah. Hard. Yeah, it's, it's 7.5. It's hard. <laughs> it's, it's real. It's real. Real hard. It's, yeah. it's like Ron <laughs> Jeremy of beer. Root beers. <laughs> Here, let me... Uh, pop that cherry. Let me do that. <sighs> yeah, pop that cherry. Oh, yeah. Go, everybody. Uh. Oh, my root beer cherry. <laughs> it, is a, it is. We haven't had root beer on the show before. Yeah. I didn't even know that it was a thing. It smells like root beer and beer. Mm. All right. Let's pour this bitch. Okay. Yeah. It looks like root beer. It smells like root beer. It, it looks like root beer. It, it sounds like root beer. Yeah. It, it sounds like I'm pouring a soda. Yeah. Uh-oh. It's got, like, soda-style head. It really hard you know, head. You know what? I really hope this tastes like root beer. Cuz if it does, I'm I think I just found my new drink of all time, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, there's other hard root beers, so we got to we got to make the rounds. Yes, that's right. All right. So, mm. cheers. Thank you. Happy Monday. Happy Labor Day, Happy everybody. Happy Labor Day. And we, for everybody that had to work, I'm so sorry. That was but me. for everybody that didn't as well, 
Happy Labor Day. Happy Labor Day. Yes. Moment of silence. Okay. Mm. They had the um, the idea of root beer. I could definitely see that there. I feel like someone tried to give me a root beer and then told me, you're a sick fuck. Yes. Um, so, that that's good. It has the idea of root beer. Yeah. I like it. Um, you could definitely taste the alcohol. It gives it a different taste. Yeah, I, I like it, but I, I kind of wish it was a little more subtle. But then again, we did get the stronger of the two. Oh, I do have I do have something for you. That something that was in Orange County. Um, uh, so it's little, like local news. Yeah, it's a little bit of local news. For this you. week in local news. Yeah, there was a reenactment, the Civil War reenactment in Huntington Beach in Central Park. Oh, uh, there's where you go to get drunk. Yeah, right. Um, Abraham Lincoln was there, going cool. ahead and hanging out with the kids and uh, a few of the parents and all that fun stuff. Hot. Yeah, and. Uh, a uh, a man with an assortment of tools that looks more suited to repairing buggies than repairing bodies demonstrates that it was meant to practice old time medicine. So uh, the people going ahead and doing their f- fun routines, and there's a woman going ahead and wearing a uh, uh, with uh, hoops, uh, a woman in skirts with hoops. So the those types of skirts that are huge and all that fun stuff. You know so. what I'd like to do? I'd like to uh, do a, a Civil War reenactment, but have all the reenactors be strippers. Even, like, Abraham Lincoln. And just have, like... <laughs> like, they all run on the battlefield, and then like, instead of, like, shooting and killing each other, they all just, like, start, like, dancing and stripping and, like, taking it all off and, like, doing all the other things. And then they got, like, gray thongs and blue thongs. But and then hopefully they, whip- they still have the muskets, because yes, uh, the muskets the- are pretty badass. Well, they got to put the muskets <laughs> between the legs and do, like, the sensual grinding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, when they shoot, they they go. Ah! Yeah, they like, thrust they, their hips when they yeah, shoot. Yeah, you just see this big cloud of, of, of this puff of smoke go pop, and, the, and the, just like ah! oh, <clears throat> they're a, grabbing their nipples and tuning it into a one through B twelve. Fall down, <laughs> ah! and they fall down all sexually, like they just got off. Yeah, yeah. So, um, why are we getting off topic of that? I'm, I'm really liking this. Yes. Um, so it, it was a lot of fun, and thank you, James Taylor and uh, Norm Braley and everyone that was included in the project. It looked like it was a lot of fun. So, well, I've got a little something for you. So. Yes. Ooh. Um. Uh. Are you in any way familiar with Oxford's uh, constant addition to new words based on modern social interactions? I am not very much uh, into it. I, I don't know any n- new urban dictionary words. <laughs> I like to enhance my vocabulary in a in a healthy way. Ah. But I am learning now that uh, I might have uh, overstepped my, my lifetime. The words being added in now are just ridiculous. Jesus Christ. They're being redonkulous. <laughs> They're just straight Heat. acronyms. <laughs> so you and I get to play a game I call Is That Word Real? Is That Word Fake? Who the fuck cares? Nice. So I'm going to read some words to you. Okay. <clears throat> I have a list. Okay. On this list are words that I have added in. Okay. On the list oh are words God. that Oxford has actually added to the real dictionary. Mother of God. Now you have to choose <laughs> which ones. Now should you choose one correctly, I will read... If, if it's a correct... If it's correct, Ooh. I will read the meaning of it. And okay. that means... That is an actual word. If if I get it correct, you get to take a drink, right? Uh, and if I get it wrong, I take a drink. Mm, yes. You know what? Fuck it. Let's do this. Okay. Right. Yes. I'm, ex- and you I'm and the really audience, excited. Choose your team. If you're on my team, take a drink when I drink. If you're on Bryant's team, yes. take a drink when he drinks. Awesome. All right. Very cool. Okay. Are you ready, Bryant? Give it to me. The first word on the list is arping. 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 Like A R P I N G with two A's. Ooh, mm-hmm. arping. No, that's not a word. Yeah, it is correct. That is not a word. I added that in myself. Ah-ha! Yes. <laughs> ah. <laughs> All right. Ooh. All right. The next word on the list. Awesome sauce. Oh, dude. Hell yeah, that's a real word. Awesome sauce is uh, a real word in the Oxford. Well, it's dictionary. not. It's actually two words. But is that what you're saying? Yes. Uh. First off, you got to take two drinks because that is one word. And what? awesome sauce is a real word. It is. It means extremely good and excellent. It is an adjective. Ah, awesome sauce. So Brian's <laughs> team, take a drink. All right, next word, bants. Bants. B 
Bants. B A N C E. B A N T S. B A N T S. Bant. Holy shit. Um. Real. Real. Yes. Real. Real. Yes. It is playfully teasing <laughs> or mocking. Remarks exchanged with another person or group. Banter. In other oh. words, this is a half of a word. Another half of a word. So Mother my team, God. let's take a drink. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. All right. New word is barbacoa. Barbacoa. That's a real word. Barbacoa is a real word. Yes. And what is it? Do you know? I, it, I don't know what that is, but I've heard it before. Noun. In Mexican cooking, beef, lamb, or other meat that has slowly been cooking uh, cooked with seasonings, typically shredded as filling in tacos, burritos, and every other freaking thing made in Mexico. Ooh. I, that sounds delicious. That, that sounds makes me want to go watch Chef again. Fuck that. Just just come upstairs with me. Fair enough. All right. Next word. Beer o'clock. That's a real word. It's a real word? Hell yeah. I, I hope to God it's a real word. <laughs> noun. That's a noun? An appropriate time of day for to uh, start drinking beer. Fair enough. Cheers. My team, take a drink. I'm going to take a drink with him. Cheers, everybody. Everyone it's, it's beer. It's beer o'clock right now. Brain fart. Brain fart's a real word. Brain fart is a real yeah, oh, word. Oh, it's so... It's a... Well, I've heard it before. Um, let's see. It, so, is it added to the Oxford Dictionary? Yes, that's what you're playing. Ah. Is, it, uh, is it added to the Oxford Dictionary, or did I add it to the Oxford Dictionary? I don't think, I don't think so. You don't think brain I don't, fart is I don't think word. brain fart made it to the dictionary. Brain fart. Noun. A temporary mental lapse or failure to reason correctly. Really? It made it to the dictionary? It made it into the dictionary. Brain Holy fart shit. made it to the dictionary. This is the future of mankind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Well, cheers, everybody. Brian's team, take a drink. We should have been taking tally. <clears throat> yes, that's, that is true. Oh, well, fuck it. Someone take tally for us. Yes. There you go. <clears throat> <laughs> Brexit. Brexit? Brexit. No, I think that's fake. Take a drink. Now, really? A term for potential hypothetical departure of the United Kingdom from the Europe uh uh or from the European Union. That's bull crap. I call bull crap. <laughs> Damn it. I'm almost like I'm like almost done with my first beer. <laughs> Brown note. Brown note? Brown note. Interesting. If there's anybody listening, I need help on this one. What do you think? Is brown note? I'm, I'm making a shout out right now. Will anybody go ahead and help me that's listening live? Don't brown think note. they care. They're on my team. Every, no every, way! Everyone on the internet is on my team. No way! They're on my team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So anybody out there, brown note? Do you think brown note? Brown note. You have five. Four. Three, mm. two, one. Ah! Okay. Right. Brown note, Brian. It's, it's, it's real. Ah, take a drink. Fuck! Brown note is sick. <laughs> Dude, that's the mythical tone. <laughs> that, that When you hear it, you automatically shit yourself. Oh, my God. R- that's the phrase? That's... That, yeah, that's... that's, that's I what made means? that up. Oh, I made that oh, up. Oh, okay, okay. Take a drink, motherfucker. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, the challenge is on. Holy crap. The new word okay. is bruh. Bra? Bruh. Like bro. Bruh. Like bro. Bruh. Like B R A? B R U H. Bruh. Hey bruh. Um goodness gracious. Great balls of fire. <laughs> I did watch Top Gun the other day. Um real. It's real. I owe you a drink, Ooh. sir. All right. Bruh. Sweet. <laughs> a noun. A female, or I'm sorry, a male. <laughs> I can read. Friend. Often used form of address. Interesting. My team. So a bra. Enjoy your sip. That's in. This, these are crazy words, man. Bruh. Next word is buffet momentum. Buffet momentum. Buffet momentum. I have no idea. Oh my god, buffet momentum. Buffet I'm like now, momentum. I'm like on the on the fence about all of them now. Uh. <laughs> At first I was like really confident I knew, but now I'm just like I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. 
Um, buffet <laughs> momentum. Buffet momentum. Five. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say it's Four. real. You're gonna say it's real. I'm gonna say it's real. Take a drink, Brian's Fuck. team. I added that shit in there too. Fuck, man. <laughs> Buffet momentum. It's uh, when you go to buffet and you eat everything so fast and you're so full right off the get go, so you have to slow down and ruin your moment. Yeah. Oh, my uh, goodness. Or also, you know, you eat very slow, so you, you eat have there a forever. nice momentum. <laughs> New word: butt dial. Butt dial. That butt dial. that is a real word. Christian's drink. Take a uh, Christian's drink. Get in my mouth. Yes. Uh, Whoever's on Christian's tri- uh, Christian's team, take a drink. Inadvertently call someone on a mobile phone in one's rear trouser pocket. Yes, that is that is a butt dial. That is definitely a butt dial. <laughs> these are really good beers. Yes, they are. They, it literally these literally uh, these Mission Brewery guys down in San Diego. I they might add again. They know what they're doing. Yeah, the hard root beer. This is amazing, and it's seven point five percent alcohol, and we're drinking out of a twelve fluid ounce regular beer bottle. It's amazing. Are I, you I'm, ready for the next word, Brian? Yes, yes, I am. The next word is butt hurt. Butt hurt. Yes, butt that's hurt. a real word. It is an actual word in the dictionary. Yes. Okay. Uh, Christian's drink. Get in my mouth. <laughs> butt hurt. Adjective. Overly or unjustifiably offended or resentful. Yes, people get butt hurt. I've been using. I I'm starting to catch these because, yeah, you've been like you, me. I've got a lot of people. I've been using those kind of words for a while. People get butt hurt. Cat cafe. Cat cafe. No way, Jose. Noun: a cafe or some Damn establishment <laughs> where people pay to interact with cats housed on the premises. Really? <clears throat> Brian's team, take a drink. Holy crap, man. What are these words? <laughs> They're official, bitch. <sighs> All right. Uh, All right. Phantasmic. Phantasmic? Phantasmic. Fantastic and fabulous. No, that's... uh. No, that's phantasmic. It's a combination of fantastic and orgasmic. Ah. Then it's real. Take a drink. Fuck! That's my catchphrase, motherfucker! Holy crap! Oh my god, I'm gonna... Uh, well, everybody, just to let you know, we're 18 minutes into the show, and I will most likely be drunk for you this episode. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> welcome. <laughs> okay, alright. <sighs> Batberg. Batberg? Fatberg. 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 Oh my god. Can I make a phone call? Nope. No. <laughs> you used up your call. You used up your shout-out already. But and nobody answered, Because so they're all on my team. No, the no. The internet is on my side. Everybody wants to see me get drunk or what? Yes. <laughs> There's like five messages of yes? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> show us your penis. <laughs> show, show me your penis. All right, D-Railer. Fatberg. 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 No. Noun, a very large mass of solid waste me? in the sewage system consisting especially of congealed fat and or personal hygiene products that have been flushed. Fatberg. Fatberg. What the fuck kind of word is that? He's I'm getting it. all offended. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Okay. All right. Okay. Just a second. Let me, let me see if I can get a burp out. No. Fuck. <laughs> Are you ready for the next word, Bryant? All right. What is the next word? Burr baby. Burr baby. Fur baby. Fur baby. Hmm. Hmm. Fur baby. Hmm. Yes. You're going to go with yes with fur baby. Yes. Noun. A person's yes! cat or other furry pet Ooh, animal. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Christian's team, enjoy your drink. Yes. Guys, guys, take that drink. <sighs> guys, take that drink. Whew. Next word is Grexit. 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 Um, fuck, man. No, that is not what it means. Grexit. What the hell kind of word is that? Grexit. I don't... I'm calling no. Noun. A term fuck! for the potential withdrawal from Greece or the Eurozone. You guys are killing me. <laughs> Dude. Oh, my Brexit. God. It's, it's like starts with GR for Greece. Yes. Exit. Grexit. Greece exit? 
Uh-huh. So not grease lightning, grease exit. No, they, they grease the fucking shit up and then slide out and out of grease. Uh, oh, thank you. Bryant's team? That actually tasted like root beer. Suck your shit down. Yes. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. For everybody who loves their beers, drink with me. I really, 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 really feel sorry for the person on your team who's got a bottle of vodka right now. Me too. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> the next hey, word yeah. is hangry. 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 That's a real word. Adjective. Bad yes. tempered or irritable as a result of hunger. Oh, man. I went on a limb on, a limb on that one, everybody. <laughs> Christian's team, enjoy your drink. Ooh. All right. I need another beer. I freaking finished my beer. Pop another cherry, you drunk. All right, man. Thank you, Mission Brewery. Right, give, and while he's doing that... Give it to me, baby. Give uh-huh, it to- uh-huh. Give it to me, baby. All right, the next word is MacGyver. MacGyver? MacGyver. Uh, no. No, that's not a word. MacGyver's not a word? No, MacGyver's on, not a TV word. TV show that was around in the 80s? <laughs> I, love, I love MacGyver, but MacGyver is not a word. Verb. Make or repair an object in an improvised no or inventive way. way. Making use of whatever items are at hand. No way. Yes way. Are you kidding me? Yes, sir. I mean, no, no you're sir. kidding. <laughs> no, 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 sir. I almost got him, everybody. <laughs> Brian's team... Continue the inebriation. Okay. All right. Whew. Dude, we're going to have to go get, like, in a half an hour then within the damn show. <laughs> Don't worry. At this rate, I'll be plenty sober. I can drive. Okay. Fair <laughs> enough. All right. All right, everybody. You heard it. Okay. All right. Hey, let me take a drink really quick. All right. Ready? Dude. Oh, goodness. Okay. All right. I'm ready. Manic Pixie Dream Girl. Manic Pixie Dream Girl? Are you kidding me? Manic Pixie Dream Girl. Yeah, it's real. You went out a limb, didn't you? Yes. Noun, especially yes! in film. Woo! A type of female character depicted as vivacious and appealingly quirky. <clears throat> oh, that gives me enough time to pour my damn beer in my cup. <laughs> Christian's team, I love you. Have a drink. Alrighty. Alright, cockfucker. Are you ready? Are you ready for the new word? Are you ready to rumble? The new word is manscaping. Manscaping is a real word. Manscaping is not a real word, drink fucker. Oh, fuck. (laughs) I tried to keep cool while I got one right. (laughs) Stop trying to be cool and just be right. Oh. All right. Ooh. All right. Okay. Man. How many how many more of these do we have? We went over We're actually like, almost done. Okay. All right. I, w- I have the entire Oxford list here including words I've added. Oh, wow. Holy crap. Man spreading. Man spreading. Man spreading. Okay. Man also the word spreading in there. I don't No. No, no, no. That's not a word. Noun. The Are practice you? whereby a man, especially one traveling on public transport, adopts a sitting position with his legs wide apart in such a way as to encroach on adjacent seat. That's dumb. Yeah. That's dumb, man. Yeah. Blame <laughs> Tumblr. Blame Tumblr. Really? There was some video of a guy sitting all by himself on the back of a bus with legs, but I was like, oh, he's being a sexist. He wants to sit by himself and make women stare at his genitals. Like, really? Whatever, whatever the reason is, it's but real. I have to drink. <laughs> Brian's team. All right, you know what, everybody? After after this is all done, you guys let me know where you're at, and we're gonna go drink some more because I'm already kind of feeling it. These are seven point fives, and now I'm I've drank it what like ten minutes. Uh, no, you're at, you're about twenty five. Why are you complaining? Hey, hey, hey! It's almost a half an hour. <laughs> God, that was a nasty sounding burp. Yeah, that was that came from the bowels. Ow. Okay. All right. Oh. Okay, wait, I need to drink for that one. Damn. <laughs> and and you know what? I'm the one that made the drinking rules. <laughs> yep. I was going to be easy get. on you. I was going to go only on words that I made up, and you're just like, no, let's do this. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Okay. All right. Mm. Okay. 
Okay, I'm ready. Mic to- drop. Mic drop. Mic drop. Yeah, th- that's a word. Noun. Okay. An instance Woo! of deliberately dropping or let, tossing aside one's microphone at the end of the performance drop. or speech, one considers to have been particularly impressive. Christian's team, take a drink. Ow. Ah. Ooh. Okay. That's a real word. It was made in South Park, so I believe it. Okay. 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 Exclamation. <laughs> Non-standard spelling. Okay. <laughs> Representing an informal pronunciation. Christian's team. Take a drink. Let's have another. Hey, these. I, I, I'm so sorry to go off topic. I just love these cups. We, I Just to let you guys know, we do have he's two mugs that we use. Tipsy. No. 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 <laughs> Listen, derailer. You're almost done. Finish the game. Derailer. Finish the the you game. used a context clue. It's mm. real. <laughs> no. Netflix and chill. What? Netflix and chill. Netflix and chill? Netflix and chill. No, that's not a word. That is not a word. Are you sure? I am pretty sure that's not that a word. That has been used all over the internet for the longest time. This is really? your last chance to use it. Yes mm. or no? Well, I obviously know now that it's... No, no, that's not a real word. Okay. Netflix and chill is not a real word. That yes! means that you actually Woo! bring invite someone over to your house <laughs> in a hope that they're going to watch Netflix slash, you know, nah, and we're chill. just going to have sex. Ah, yes. Netflix and Netflix and a Ah, meal. Christian's team. That was good. All right. Whew. Pocket dial. We've already had butt dial. Now it's pocket dial. That's a real word. So both have been added to the Oxford Dictionary. Yes. Same word. Yes. Damn, you really want to be sober. Yes. That's yes. in fact a real word. Yes. Verb. <laughs> Inadvertently call someone on a mobile phone in one's pocket as okay. a result of pressure being accidentally applied to a button or buttons on the phone. Yes, I, ha- I had a lot of trouble with my Galaxy S6 on that. Um, Christian's team, again. Remember, everybody, lock your S- uh, Galaxy S- S5s. I had a Galaxy S5. I didn't have a Galaxy S6. Anyways. Go on. I'm sorry. Porn hangover. Porn hangover? Porn hangover. It's, it's not a real word. It's not a real word? That's not a real word. No, no I'm kidding. It's fake. <laughs> <laughs> I can see it in your eyes. <laughs> he was looking at me like so serious. like, porn hangover. Oh, God, please get it right. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's another, guys. All right, here we go. Okay. Ponage. Ponage? Ponage. Yeah, that's a real word. Noun, especially in video gaming. Just got pwned! The action or fact of utterly defeating an opponent or rival. Christian's team, take a drink. Take a drink. Now we're running, little guys. Yeah, there it is. Rando. 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 That's a real word. Noun, a person one does know. Oh, I'm sorry, one does not know. <laughs> Sorry. For some reason, I copied and pasted the meanings, and for some reason, no uh, is uh, all caps and very big, so I was like, no. No. All right, let's do it again. Uh-oh. Dude, you there it is. There it is. All right, he's, he's catching up to me, man. Two more. He's catching up to me, man. Social Party at the Moon Tower. Social Justice Warrior. Social Justice Warrior. Social. It reminds me of like no. like a, a lawyer doing like Ninja Warrior. <laughs> no, that's not a real word. <laughs> Noun. Derogatory. Ah, <laughs> person who expresses or promotes socially progressive views. Ah, shit. Okay. Drink. Cheers, everybody. Drink, 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 motherfucker. Drink, drink. Okay, I'm done with that. Okay. My ponytail was hitting me in the yeah, face. Yeah, man. He's got, you got the samurai bun going. Swatting. 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 Jesus. Swatting. Swatting. Yes. That's a real word. Here's where I'm upset about this. Swatting is a real word. It's been around for fucking ever. Okay. Now we've added it again. Really? English. It's fucking English. We can make any word mean many things. Yes. Swatting. Noun. The action or practice of making a hoax call to the emergency services in an attempt to bring about the dispatch of a large number of armed police officers to a particular address. Dude, wasn't there a news story about that? That a kid... Yeah, there's a few of them. 
wow, that's right. That was that's a mind blow. Uh, there was a story of a of a kid that went to jail recently because he called. This hap- It's been happening for the last couple of years. Oh goodness gracious! I can't believe that though. I'm sorry, I, I went on a tangent Christian right there. Thing. I, but um, that's crazy stuff. Hopefully, hopefully nobody's doing that. I I would. I mean, don't don't call people. Don't call the police to go into people's houses. That's just fucked up. <laughs> All right. We are in the final three. Okay. All right. And by my tally, I'm winning. Yes. Yes, you are, actually. We're going by level of beer mugs right now. Yeah. Mine's almost <clears throat> empty, and he's had to refill. Yes. Weak sauce. Weak sauce is a real word. Noun. Something that is of yes. a poor or disappointing standard or quality. Brian's team is the best. And you're losing. <laughs> <laughs> there's one Dude, little sip drink left. Drink that. There's like a... There's I like fill ba- my reservoir. There's like backwash. That's that like backwash. That is not backwash. I, I suck. Don't backwash. Ooh, For those of you who I drink, don't, don't put backwash in your beer. Ooh. Wine o'clock. Wine o'clock? Yeah, wine o'clock. Well, if beer o'clock is a word, wine o'clock might as well not be a word. Because there's already a beer o'clock. Exactly. Noun. An appropriate Fuck! time of day for starting to drink wine. Damn it. That was slick. That was slick. <laughs> <laughs> it's very slick. And the single final word of the challenge tonight. All right. What is it? Woot sauce. Woot sauce. Woot sauce. Woot sauce. Um, woot. I know woot is kind of like a um an exclamation. Woot. No sauce. Woot, woot. Like uh, that's what the the gamers always type in. Woot. Like oh, fat loot. Woot. Interesting. Okay, so it's it's an exclamation. Yeah, it's an exclamation. Yeah, it's an exclamation. Um. Yeah. Yeah, I'll go with yeah. Fake. Fuck. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Brian team, take a drink. Christian team, take a victory drink. Yes. Ah, oh, yes. I'll cheers, cheers. you, okay. Now Oxford, I need to refill. You, Oxford, you guys are fucking crazy to go you ahead and add words. Weird. Add that many fucking words to the dictionary. They're nuts. I don't. I don't even know. But I know. It's weird, man. Oh God, that I came out with a buzz on that one. Give me opener of the battle. There, there she blows. There she blows. I'm going to pop this cherry. There she blows. Got any more stories to tell, Bryant? Now that you're successfully losing the games? Yes. Um, we actually... I don't I don't even need... No, I do need... I don't need... I don't even need... I don't even need the notes for this one. I'm going to kiss my sister. Because Apple this week is going to be releasing... Okay, okay. Apple... Whoa, whoa. S- you sound like a moron. Oh, whatever. <laughs> We're going to demoronize you. <laughs> Tap your demoron button. There oh, you go. Boop. Okay. So, here we go, everybody. Apple CEO Tim Cook is expecting to unveil the new iPhone 6S. It must be a failure because Ava's upstairs barking up like a storm. And she wasn't upset. Ab- uh, she she was upset about it. I, I mean, I could hear her, so the audience is going to hear her. But um, for, all, for everybody out there that, you know, just got the new iPhone, iPhone 6, the iPhone pop, 6 Plus is a very expensive pop tart. Yes, um, it, you know the they had the bending issues and all that fun things, but um, they're coming out with the S6. Uh, it, it's something it, that is something that is going on this Wednesday. They but we also did hear about they they might be doing something exclusive with the uh, Apple TV. They're going ahead and trying to make their own program. You know, they go ahead and make their own type of Netflix type of deal. But this is all theory, all, you know, fun jazz that might happen. Microsoft went ahead and tried to do it as well, but didn't work out. But the specs for the new phone are gay. They, uh, there is an Apple A9 at 1.8 gigahertz in this phone. That's actually really impressive. It's a dual core. It is a dual core, but at the same time, you got to think 1.8 gigahertz in a phone. That's pretty nuts. So that that's pretty good, you know. Um, it, it's not as good as my phone because I have a G4. But uh, anyways, <laughs> oh, anyways. So, but there's going to be two gigs of RAM in the phone, mm-hmm. which uh, a lot of people have been exclaiming about to go ahead and 
we'll put a little bit more firepower in the phone, a little bit more random access memory. Yay, it, now the iPhone has muscle. A little bit of muscle. There's a little bit of muscle there. Um, it's starting, and this time with any Galaxy S6, 6S, I apologize, um, all the phones are starting with 16 gigs internal storage. Uh-huh. All of them are starting with 16 gigs. Wow. And um, they are... Uh, so they, no more like measly 8 gigs that like half that gets taken up by mandatory uh, Mac, uh, Mac shit? No more, man. No more. They're starting out. And I, I bet once they do this, I bet it's just going to be mandatory for the rest. Mm. Because uh, a lot of the Galaxy and a lot of LGs, they actually are already doing that. Oh really? So um, I think they they just saw it and was like, you know what? That's that's reasonable. Well, how many how many apps that people have on their phone? They take up five hundred plus megabytes worth of space. God, the Pornhub app alone is so huge. And there you go. Um, it comes with full HD, one hundred and eighty pixel resolution, Ooh. with uh, you know the the uh, oh god. <laughs> Anyways, but uh, yeah, a full HD and the camera, everybody. It is. It it's gotten better. Um, the uh, the new uh, no, the new ones is coming out with a rear camera of 12 megapixel. It's pretty good. That that is actually really good. It's 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 con- it's contrary to a digital camera. But uh, the back it, the rear uh, front, front facing, facing. Thank you. The front facing is five megapixel. So five. Five megapixel. That's like yeah. you promised me like this giant black dong, and all I got is this tiny little like yellow thing. Go, Flink. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's and there. yes, that was a little racist, but <laughs> it's also a little true. <laughs> oh, I, I love it. <laughs> yeah, he loves penis. I love the dong. I I was actually going on Groupon today, and I was looking you were through shopping for dongs on Groupon. I was not shopping for dongs. I was actually shopping for a wallet for my new phone. But, like, because I, I want to have my wallet and my phone to be, you know, I want it all to be just one, you know. But I was going through Groupon, and they just have a lot of dong. And they use the word dongs. Oh. Well, I'm, it must be a keyword. It must be a keyword to go ahead and sell. But um, that was actually really funny what I did today. But, um, yeah, so everybody that's going out there, and, you know, if you have the Veri- if you have Verizon, you can do Verizon Edge. Go ahead and trade it in. Get the new uh, success. Yeah, you know, keeping in tech news, I want to talk about my favorite piece of tech this week. Yes, go go ahead, my sir. Um, so the the wonderful child that I am, man child, as some would call it. Yes, um, me as well. <laughs> there's a new Star Wars toy coming out. Yes, and there I say is. I say toy lovingly. Uh, it is the wonderful new droid from the new films, BB-8. BB-8, small little. You could you can. Connect them to your cell phone. Yes, that he'll run that was around. Amazing. You can say f- you can actually do hand gestures on your phone. You can use wow. motion sensor on the phone. You can talk to your phone and say forward, reverse, side to side. Yeah. Or you could just turn him on, and he will automatically wander around like a Roomba. Oh, and he'll interact with things and get That's scared. Awesome. And he has like little he has uh, sounds and in- interactions. Like if he gets scared of something that's moving, he'll like turn around and go. Ah! run away <laughs> and you know for a fact when we open the uh, the studio we're gonna have like uh, like bb8 with like a chimmy sticker on his butt just like rolling around going Dude, that'd be cool so long. that'd be really cool then we'll get the millennium falcon uh, drone to fly overhead was that not amazing yes oh both overhead. of these are actually amazing i i actually really love that you can use the bb8 with your phone you know instead of like oh there's a standard controller that you need no you could just use your phone and install the app <laughs> well, I, I like, love that I also like that um, you could just turn them on and let them just do his own thing yeah yeah it's just an- uh, not analog is that analog it, it's a, a AI maybe no it's not AI it's, it's, it's like the Roomba it just senses its environment and says oh I shouldn't fall over that but they had a, a fun little demo reel of, of watching it kind of like move around obstacles, recognize it's getting too close to something that's moving, getting yeah. scared, moving away, and then like <laughs> realizing it's on a platform, like a little uh, like a narrow platform between a swimming pool and like a fall to its imminent death. Yeah, and it just goes okay, so straight, and it just full speed, just boom, right down the very center of the thing. Nice, very cool. So the, the sensors are actually pretty good. 
You know, you're right. I was looking up dongs on Groupon here while we were talking. <laughs> there yeah. are a lot of options. Like this 9-inch realistic black dong. I saw that one today. And I was like, holy crap. <laughs> and then we have the Mambo Funk Mount Multifunction 9.5-inch vibrator. Nice. I got to get you one of these, dude. The, the magic bean for the ladies out there with a remote control. Oh, here you go. I got to get you this. The Cyberglass 4-Way G-Spot toy. Dude, the those gla- things look crazy. The glass dildos? I mean, those look crazy, dude. Those look like they have so much internal engineering. It's like... The glass dildos? Yeah. It's just glass. Well, I mean, I, I would expect... Because there's like beads inside of that shit, right? Like like this one right here? The one that looks oh, like it's... Oh, that looks like a... Honestly, that doesn't even look like a dildo. That looked like a piece. That looked like a steamroller. You know, there actually are a few of those. They're actually pipes, and you're supposed to, you know... Really? Insert it. Really? Yeah. Wait, not insert it and smoke at the same time. No! It's just (laughs) multifunctional. (laughs) Who's like, wait, wait, wait. (laughs) Come on, we have to get sanitary, damn it. Yeah, that's what I was was thinking. I was like, wait, you're going to smoke out of it after you just used it? No. Anyways, but um, yeah, yeah, Groupon. I, I always enjoy going on Groupon. Groupon's great. Hey, you know what was fun? Uh, going to see our friends last n- uh, the other night. Yes, a uh, Raven, night. Uh, Raven Claw Hammer. Yeah, and Dude. and uh, they they pretty much rocked it. And she has a pair of lungs. She has a pair of lungs, indeed. Yes, she does. Yeah, am, am I allowed to say their beautiful names? Oh, you are. Oh. Say them slowly. Christiana. Christiana. Yes, I think it's Christana. Christana. Chrisana, I'm sorry. Chrisana. Wrong, wrong. Oh, there's no T in there. That's me. I'm no. the T. Oh, God. She's still very sexy, though. Yes. And she, uh, honestly, just to let you know, you freaking sing like, I, I, you got a pair of lungs on you. I don't know how you go hey, ahead Christana, and get those she, notes. He's, he's had a lot of uh, root beer, uh, spiked root beer. I think he's hitting on you here. Oh, oh, yes. I'm sorry. My apologies. But, um, <laughs> yep. Uh, David. Juan. Juan, yeah, uh, all you gentlemen out there, dude, you guys fucking rocked. You you missed you missed you missed the best guy of them all. Which one? You you, you missed Mister Bloody Knuckles. That's David. That's David. That's David. That's David. That's David. Uh, you're David. I am David. Your face is. David. I'm just changed my name. <laughs> anyway, David uh, David was on the washboard playing, and he freaking scraped the fuck out of his knuckle. And he, we were drinking outside, and he comes up. He's like, "Yo, let's check out my knuckle." And I was like, "Dude, what the fuck?" <laughs> <laughs> like you freaking he, his his knuckle was all bloody, and he's like, "Yeah, I've done it before." But yeah, yeah. but I just want to be honest. I've never seen with someone rock. I mean, I mean, washboard rock the the washboard. Yes. Honestly, like I'm that ne- dude was like getting in oh, on it. Ooh, the, yeah, the, the guy in the crowd, dude. Yeah, <laughs> blue shirt. Blue shirt was awesome. Yeah, this there was a there was a dude that was in the crowd that Young was a rocking out. He was rocking out to you guys. And when I first saw him, I wondered if I should shove my wallet in his mouth, make sure he's not biting his tongue. Yeah, but it, uh, it was a lot of fun. I had, I had a lot of fun at uh, yeah at uh, the roadhouse. The road. The roadhouse. That's what that's what we'll, we'll title it for now. Yes, the Roadhouse. But um, yeah, yeah, that, that was a lot of fun. I mean, then we met uh, a few locals that have uh, that have need of some entertainment. We'll, we'll, we will save you soon. Yes, we will save you from a boring life. Trust me, that is what we do best. Yes, uh, honestly, this is my and hobby. Then, uh, but you, at the same time, you 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 found a leading lady in your life, didn't you? Yes. Yes. I, oh, wait. Here, let me show you. Uh, I will show you right There now. was a young lady who was uh, go, taking yes, pictures. She was, she was, you know, kind of catching Brian's eye. And he 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 targeted her for either personal or chimmy-based purposes. It, I, I don't it know. Actually, it was for the Raven Claw Hammer because she was taking wonderful pictures of them while they were playing. Which he saw through yes. her cleavage. Yes. Uh, he's her, handing me his cell phone. This is the information that she put into my phone, and later I saw. So yeah, at one point, uh, Car- my beautiful girlfriend Karen and I went out to hang out with the band afterwards, and yeah. <laughs> uh, as well as a few friends. And while we were in- continuously inebriating our, our blood, we have a phone number which I will not read on air. Yeah, and email says I'm sorry, 
but you're nice you dot com. I'm sorry, <laughs> but you're nice. See what the hell? I was telling. I her was telling address th- is I have a boyfriend. Her default ringtone is VZW Airwaves, and her default color is green. Yes, those are actually standard. But so yeah. I'm, I'm calling her phone. Go ahead. Yes, do it. So, hang on. Well, hang on. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll continue. Oh, okay. Let's see. Let's see if she answers. That'd be very interesting if she actually gave me her number with all the other information. Hello. Hello, this is Christian. You are live on air on Chimichanga Superstar Podcast. How are you doing today? <laughs> Apparently, she wasn't very fond of that. <laughs> and you, sir, have officially lost any access to making a friend. Very, very cool. But that's okay. That's and fine to with me. Uh, Alyssa, who I'm not sure that may or may not be your real name. Does not matter who what your real name is. Yes, I'm sorry if we called you and made you uncomfortable. Yes, yes, but, that is true. But good job in humbling my boy here, because uh, y- yeah, you, you need yeah. to calm your shit, man. You you're sitting there like, getting up in women's faces and calling them, "Hey, honey, what's up? I want to get in your panties." And that's, that's what just, I do. This is not the way you do it. Dude. Uh, that's not how you do it. Oh man. Uh, uh, that's that's what I was taught. That's what by all taught? my friends. They were like, "Hey, just go up there and just but say yeah. you're so, sexy, baby." So you were talking to me before we got here that you yes. think that you're you need to change your role up to be like I need to be an asshole. Yes, yeah. So apparently, I I need to go ahead and be more of an ass because you know it, she said that I'm I'm too nice. And she uh, apparently took the notion that I was hitting on her, but I just really wanted the number for the brewery that she was working for to go ahead and. Oh, so now it's a brewery. It, well, she she does work at the brewery, as you told me. Yes, um, but uh, apparently I'm just too nice. Maybe I, I I think I just need to be an asshole. I just need to be a, like a full on asshole. Just like what's up? Uh, I'm actually not interested, and I don't want to. I didn't even want to talk to you. Yeah, you'll immediately get, get walked away from at that point. Yeah, yeah. See, so there's like no between. How do I go in between? I, like, so I I'm too nice and I don't get anything, and I'm an asshole and I don't get anything. Okay, let me let me throw this one out there. Uh, you're good at having fun. Yeah. But you, oh, hell you, yeah. you do notice when there are women, and yeah. you do notice that you want the women. Yeah. So let me be honest with you. Okay. The, uh, Intervention who, time. Who gets Da-da-da. the most attention from women? Um, the assholes. People who are currently taken. Yes, that is actually very true. Why is that? Because they know that they there isn't any threat. Should I start wearing a ring? They who? They who? Women in general. There, no, there's, no, there's no threat. No, they no, don't have no, to worry no, about. No, no. Because the men who are at the places hanging out with their buddies, but they're the, not the single ones. They're also not too concerned with trying to get it. They're not doing that. They're just them. Yeah. They're just them. Yeah. When you're in a relationship and you're out and about and you're just having fun, you're just you. Okay. And okay. The, the the problem with most anyone who is out on the hunt is the hunt itself. But I'm not out on the hunt. The moment you interact with a lady and you're like, you're a good looking lady. Blah, 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 you I get didn't even spiel, say that. It doesn't matter. You, you, you get it out of you in a great way. It's fun. It's energetic. Okay. However... Women pick up on it. Women, you have to understand, they can smell everything. Okay. They can smell it all. See, I've never heard that. Apparently, I do that subconsciously. Yeah, well, yeah, we all do it. Everyone okay. does it. Everyone okay. does it. I've done it when I was single. The, the only times I've ever had, like, massive amounts of attention is either when I'm in a relationship or when I was like, fuck it, I don't care anymore. Also, yeah. it's like, at do- both those points, it's, bam, hello, this is my crotch. Would you like to gain access? Yeah. Use this ticket at the door. Uh, take a take a meat number. Yes, exactly. Take a meat number. Yeah, I feel like I was sitting there waiting in line to get my hair cut. Listen, here, just sit in line. Yeah. Um, okay. So don't be an asshole. Don't be an asshole. Don't be an asshole. See, the, the reason the asshole thing works is because those people are actually assholes. When you're just when you choose that I'm going to be an asshole, you're not going to be you. You're yeah. not going to portray you. Yeah, but I'm really nice, apparently. I think I'm just overly energetic. Well, you're overly energetic, but you also are overly enthusiastic about everything you do. Every little thing you do, you're very enthusiastic about. Well, I, so, I like when, life. When you, exactly. That's not a bad thing. What yeah. I'm, so here's what you need. Okay. You need more life and more patience. More patience. I don't have patience. 
Dude, do you have any idea how much porn is on the internet? You've got tons of patience. Well, thank you, Elliot, actually, <laughs> because you, you showed me a website that, uh, well, actually didn't show me. You told me about it, and I looked into it. The beta is going well so far. Oh. Yeah. I'll tell you later. Well, tell me later. Yeah. I'll have to uh, show Kara. Actually, my it's girlfriend actually... watches more porn than I do, I found out. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. But, um, yes. So yeah. So, so just 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 keep doing what I'm doing. Apparently, is what you're saying. Yeah. Keep doing what I'm doing. Okay. Fine. Like I'm not gonna lie. I've Whatever. Been, I, I've secretly winged men for you a few times, and there was a lot of times where it's kind of like, cool, he's in, and then he's back. Hi, guy. What were you doing back here exactly? <laughs> <laughs> There's been a few of those times. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I bet. But honestly, it, sometimes I'm just like, ah, I didn't feel it, or oh. uh, it was more like. She wants me to grovel. Women, sometimes, they because they know I'm nice, they want me to grovel. Maybe we should just take you to a gay bar and get you some practice. Dude, gay bars? I actually went to Dude, a gay bar. a new Hamburger Mary's opened up. We should get you some practice there, and I could have a fucking burger. I have never heard of that in my life. You're gonna. Okay. But I actually you went to a did, gay actually. bar, and I had a blast. I had a fucking blast. Where did blast. you get blasted at? I didn't get blasted. I had a blast. With a few of my friends, uh, I I was actually really really um standoffish about it. Why? Because I I just and I've never been to one it's as a bar. as a straight male. I was just kind of like okay. What I don't, it is is I, it's a bar and you don't have to worry about whether or not you look good for the chicks. Okay. Well, n- later on I found this out. You know, I was like I, I was very. Uh, self-conscious about it i was kind of like oh i don't know what's going on is my dick gonna get grabbed or you know anything like that i felt like a woman going to a regular you know a regular club kind of thing you know and so i went in there and i was having a good time some of the guys gave me looks and i was like what's going on and i acted like myself and they could obviously tell right off the bat that i was straight so it was it was really really cool it was really cool i did get hit on by the guy that was dancing on stage Cool. But at the same time, I was like, sweet, you know, like, thanks, man. That was a compliment. And, uh, you know, just went and got my rum and coke. So so let me tell you about Hamburger Mary's and how I know about them. Okay. Hamburger Mary's. I had a friend who was very much not into the dude. She's more into the ladies. But okay. her favorite thing in the world are drag queens and drag kings, which I found out later on are a thing. Uh, yes. And... So she decided to contact me, and our friend, our mutual friend from uh, Las Vegas, was in California, and they wanted to go to this big thing. Oh my God, girls' night! La 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 la. And we're taking him because he's awesome. Yep. Which let's be honest, it's me. I'm awesome. You are quite awesome. They, so. uh, they, 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 these they, things happen. They swung by. <laughs> they, they swung by. We we had a discussion of who wants to be sober at the end of the night. Who's going to drive? And one person volunteered because she hates the taste of alcohol. Yeah. We drove all the way to Hamburger Mary's in Long Beach, California. Han Hamburger Mary's. Hamburger Mary's. Hamburger Mary's. We should. We drive up, and they don't tell me it's it's anything. They just keep talking about what it We're, is. They're gonna have a blast. We're just gonna go have a. I mean, the best burgers, great burgers, burgers, burgers. Talking about burgers, like trying to hype me up, not tell me what it is. <laughs> <laughs> so we get there, and while well, my friend Zelda, she knows exactly who I. Who, her name kind of is her, Zelda. Her one of her names is Zelda. She goes by Zelda. Um, but she she knows me, so she was kind of awesome. she was kind of cool, casual about it. But uh, more importantly. More importantly, we got to the place, and there, there are flyers for what's going on okay. over the weekend there. I see. You see. So you're starting to get glimpses. Yes. They're like, oh, shit. Oh, shit, indeed. <laughs> so <laughs> so we, uh, we, go, uh, we go inside, and immediately there's a stage. There's cages. There's people wearing p- tidy whities people yeah. wearing thongs, people wearing weird hats. Do it to it. And they're, all of the girls are looking at me, kind of like waiting for my response. I'm like, I'm just looking around. And I knew exactly what they wanted out of me. So I acted very grumpy. Like, oh, why are we here? What are we doing here? Oh. And then they started, one of them started feeling bad. So she said, oh, listen, listen, listen. Order something you like. It's on me. Anything you order tonight is on me. I'm like, okay. So I look at the menu. What are the really expensive burgers? You are 
And then you're charismatic. And then you're uh, very charismatic. So I sit down. I order my burger, and the moment we order, I'm like, "Okay, so this place is pretty cool. I gotta go do something real quick." So I run over to the cage, and there's these cages with wheels on them. Yes. And there's this guy wearing a uh, shredded up T-shirt that's like completely pointless because it's like at his collarbone. <laughs> <laughs> and then just ri- a straight rip shirt. Yeah, and then tidy whities and these gigantic go go boots. And I, I look up and it's like, "Are you okay?" I'm like, huh? Well, oh, I'm great, baby. I was like, "Are you sure?" Blink once for yes. Blink twice for no. Do you need help? It's okay, Bambi. I will save you. I will okay. be back. But first, I must enjoy my burger. Then I'll come and save you from this cage. And I'm like shaking the cage. It's wheeling. And he's like holding on. Go, oh, my God. What are you doing? You're crazy. <laughs> and I walk around. I sit down. And I just see him covering his head, laughing, like kneeling down in the cage, just laughing his ass off. Yeah, yeah. But the rest of that was just fun. I just got to meet everyone that was there. It was just a great show. Uh, fun drag queens all over the place. Very cool. Really very cool. great costumes. Great elaborate hair things. One yeah. actually looked straight up like the like she uh, she did the uh, the Queen of Hearts. Oh, nice. From Alice in Wonderland. It's really? Like really crazy good. Yeah. And nice. Very cool. So, yeah, it was a fun time. And I got a really good burger out of it. And then <laughs> I, uh, bought the girls around <laughs> for, yeah. I bought the girls around for fucking with him. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. See? It's classy. Yeah. So, you're a classy man. So, that is my you're, experience you're with classic hamburger man. marriage, which, by the way, a brand new one just opened in Ontario. We got to go try that place out. Fair enough. Fair enough. Hamburger Marys, you're about to have some chimney in your face. Hamburger Marys, that's quite a name. It's that quite, is, it's quite a quite, that is quite, quite a name. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> ah, oh jeez. What? Um. So what else do we got on the news? What else? Yeah, we got tons of shit. What do you want to talk about? You, wanna, you, you know, whatever. You want to you want to talk about Tommy Wiseau? You want to talk about the two, my? You know what? Actually, I want to talk about Star Wars Land and Disneyland. Go on. I I've heard tidbits there's a guy that i re- i recently got a new job mm-hmm. and he actually works at disneyland now i am hearing rumors that this is not the case but there's a lot of people talking about how they planned to tear down toontown to make room for us they aren't doing it they are not they are not doing it so, I, I heard the same exact thing but he said uh that oh i'm not gonna say his name but um yeah so he, le- let me let me make it let me make an offer we're, we're gonna make an offer yeah an offer. i'm gonna make a suggestion how, how are you <laughs> <laughs> Man, I'm going to make a deal with Disney. I'm going to make a suggestion to Disney. <laughs> Disney, listen. <laughs> what you need to do is you need to burn down Toontown completely. De- completely burn it down. I don't know. Hey, just, just, just hear me. No, go on. Go on. I'm sorry. Like We're talking like burn the fuck out of it. Don't tear it down. Don't just leave Roger debris. Rabbit just style with, burn it. Just with the acid. fire everything. Everything has hot, hot fucking fire. And then open it back to the public. While you're building Star Wars, allow them to visit Alderaan. Okay. The planet blown up by the Death Star, in case you didn't know. Okay. You're not getting anything out of this? Go on. And then whenever Star Wars op- Star Wars Land opens, yeah. you clean Alderaan back up and rebuild Toontown bigger and brighter and better. That would be really sad. <laughs> <laughs> well, so there well, wouldn't would even be need, a Star Wars. You land. would only need one person there. Yeah, you just need someone dressed as Princess Leia in her white outfit, covered in ash, just sobbing well, endlessly all day long. From my um, my source, I have I have a source now. From my source at Disneyland, he said that they're Careful, actually your source may get in trouble. Uh, oh, I'm not going to say his name or anything like that. But um, in in Florida, they're actually they just bought more land to go ahead and create. Star Wars land. And here in Anaheim, California, they're going to be utilizing land they already own. Yes. Uh, but, but they will they, not be tearing down Toontown in they any location. Yeah, they won't be tearing down Toontown. They aren't going to be doing... They. It's still in the works to go ahead and replace Tomorrowland with Star Wars land. No. But no, it's, it's not. It's, but that's still a thought. That's still a thought. No. So... I but, actually have... A very, very, very strong suspicion that it is not going to tear down anything. I don't think they would. Stu- I mean, no, no way. They are not. They're absolutely not. Yeah, I, w- fact, I wouldn't think they would. I'm, I'm going to go on someone's suggestion that I that I, I agree with. Uh, Star Wars, uh, the ride, Star Tours, 
is the only theme park oriented of things that's Star Wars related until yeah. the new movies are done and until Star Wars Land comes out while all the movies are coming out. Yeah, definitely. There's no reason they'd tear down any section of it. In fact, the only thing that I can see them ever doing is taking that um that that uh the the interactive futuristic uh museum thing and turning that into a Marvel themed center. Just like they did temporarily with the Iron Man scenario. Um, from what I heard, the area that's near <laughs> Indiana Jones, in, in the Indiana Jones area, like back where Splash Mountain is, that's where Star Wars Land is actually going to be. Kind of, sort of, maybe. 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 I know a little bit. I'm just yeah. smart. Yeah. I know not to say stuff. Yeah. But uh, that's that's what I what I heard. That is what I heard. Just going to say one thing. Yes. You're not too far off. Fair enough. All right. Anyways. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, that's, that's, that's my awesome, thing. Man. I do think that the Alderaan idea would be great. I think that would be a great transition. Um, and <laughs> yes. it would be cheap. Because, again, <laughs> all you cheap. need to do is have, like, <laughs> one or two people just to cry and sob endlessly, walk around to another Roger ash Roger Rabbit. <laughs> no, a Roger Rabbit. No, freaking it's, we're talking ash. We're talking, like, nothing. We're talking, like, the world's been blown up. There's not <laughs> enough luck. No. You're missing the point. <laughs> it's, a, it's a planet blown up. You yeah. have Princess oh, yeah. Leia covered in ash. She's going to walk to pile of ash to pile of ash. That's unrecognizable anyway. Pick up, no. a, pick up a handful and go. Ah, 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 ah. Let and the then sand on lunch seep break, through her fingers. On lunch break, they switch her out for another one. Go, ah, 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 ah. It's like the cheapest way ever to make a bunch of money. But uh, that I can't wait to go ahead and see a Princess Leia walking around with the rest of the princesses. You know. Oh, it's already happened. Belle. It's already really? happened. Really, really. Yeah, they had that for um, I think on Dapper Day recently. Interesting. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah, I I've never seen it. So. You know, speaking of Star Wars and the bar we went to last last Saturday, what about freaking the ATST? ATST yeah, legs? The ATST. Oh my gosh! Yeah. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong, my baby, she's got some legs. Dude, but she had freaking Anna Kornikova. Like this, this girl had legs that I wasn't attracted to that were so long. Yeah, like. She she was seriously like an uh, I just I call her ATST lady because she had like those crazy long chicken Dude, walker legs. Yeah, I even showed Brian to picture to remind him what it looks like, and he was busting up like, yeah, no, yeah, that's dude, exactly the guy, it. The guy that had the shirt on that that was so coincidental. Yeah, the only guy yeah. in the bar that was wearing a shirt. Yeah, yeah, that was him. Yeah, he had a he had the freaking Star Wars shirt on, but um, uh, yeah, actually his, that's right. Uh, yeah. There was a guy that was wearing a cutout <laughs> that shows actually the inner workings of an ATST. Yeah. The right th- as I made that joke, this dude turns around wearing that T-shirt. Right when my girlfriend asked, "What's an ATST?" <laughs> and you just pointed, just like that guy's that guy, shirt. That guy's shirt. And that, then that, he that, walked that. off, so we had to go ahead and Google it. But yeah. it was still very, very. That funny. was fantastic. That was very funny. But um, yeah, she had the longest legs I've seen in a while. Put it that yeah. way. And then she put herself up on those those wedge platforms. Holy crap! Yeah, she was already six two, so she's now six seven. No. So. So she's up she there. was six seven until she went home and <laughs> changed <laughs> changed her clothes. Yeah, right. <laughs> until she went home and told her boyfriend about all the creepy guys who were pointing at her from across yeah. the bar. <laughs> Dude, yeah, she was way tall, way tall. But uh, yeah, yeah, yeah that's how it goes. We had fun. I, that, that was a great time, and 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 uh, the bands that also played with uh, Ravenclaw Hammer, they were great as well. Uh, I still I, I might be biased, but I really thought that Raven Clawhammer had more of a unique sound. Oh yeah, uh, and and it's yet again. I'm sorry, it's your voice and the it, banjo, the banjo, the banjo. Uh, when you went ahead and uh, fixed the mic for her, mm-hmm. and uh, because oh, the, the yeah. cord went out, and well, you or, and you went no, ahead the, and the, fixed the, the mic. Boom! The, the mic boom uh, went loose and was like. Bopping into the banjo. Oh Jesus! Yeah, yeah, but uh, that was fun. A lot of eight oh fives. I was really stoked they had eight oh fives there. Yeah, they yeah. had a good place. That was a good place to get beer. Yeah, and but then, uh, uh, actually, my yeah. girlfriend kept saying like, "Hey, you guys keep buying each other beer. Why don't you just buy your own beer separately?" It's like that defeats the purpose of being here. Yeah, 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 like, yeah. You guys probably spent the exact same amount of money if you just bought your own beer. It's like, 
Yeah. Yeah, but it's just fun. It's like, no, dude. Hey, do you want a beer? Here, dude, I got this you one. Want, you I, want a beer, you got bro? This one? Okay, I got the next one. Yeah, right, I'll, I'll, I'll get, get the next one, one dude. Okay, <laughs> cool, nice, nice. And then I remember at one point, it's like, I just walk up and like, I'm going to get a beer. I'll be back. I come back and I give you one. You're just like in shock. <gasps> it, 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 it spilled like on my back. buying beer all <laughs> night long for each other. And all of a sudden, you're like, oh. <gasps> dude, I was stoked when you gave me that beer. I was like feeling a beer so bad and you just walked up to me. And that's when we took the, the picture, the group picture. Yeah. Yeah, so and Jimmy can't be in. The yeah, and I was the beer. banjo bitch. Uh, I was holding the the banjo case. I was the banjo Actually, bitch. I had a beer yesterday uh, that at the uh, the the international uh, street festival in in Orange County. Ooh, nice! I went with Kara, Professor Elliot, his lovely girlfriend Destiny, and yes. a dear friend of mine. Um, we all went and just hung out and had fun, and then. We thought we'd dip and kind of get away from, like, the crazy street life. Okay. Because what it is, it's a big street fair. It's, like, food from every nation. That's awesome. But, like, at crazy, like, high cost because it's a fair, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Of so course. We, we Everything's enjoyed fried. A, <laughs> uh, Kara and I split a uh, Kahlua pulled pork slider, which was served on the Hawaiian sweet buns. My lord. It was great. Oh, God. I'm, I'm already jealous. And then the pref- professor and his girlfriend, they enjoyed some, uh, some uh, noodles and chicken and stuff like that from from, Ooh, from the far east sounds good but then we dipped into a place which i'm i'm gonna find out if they want me to shout them out but uh yeah really fun place right there in the orange orange circle yeah. <clears throat> we uh we each got a different brew and then we found it there's like a secret area in the back to go sit and stuff so they, they said yeah go on go sit down we relaxed enjoyed like a nice quiet squ- uh, lovely environment and uh, we just drank hung out it. in your soul. And I had this stout that was just phenomenal. Oof. I'm actually going back there again next week and just to go find out what was that it stout was. For, oh, was it uh, ethnic food? Like, was the place that you ate at ethnic food? The, the place we ate at was actually a street. Was at the street fair. Was okay, at one okay. of the vendors. Okay. But the place we went to get the beer, though, to get away from everything after we ate, <clears throat> that's where I got the stout. Okay. Oh, so it was a it stout. Was, it was, very, it very wasn't cool. a brewery. It was just kind of one of those little. Uh, here we've got a bunch of brewers on tap. Nice. Okay. Yeah. So it was one. Of the, it was really nice. Really cool. It's kind of like an ice cream shop, but with beer. Hell yeah. Yeah. You just kind of go in. <laughs> you walk up to the counter. <laughs> what can I get you? They're all dressed up. Oh, right. What can I get you? I was like, oh, I'll take you, uh, the. You are monkey really. Bean. You are really happy right now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it was great. And then again, like because. There were literally like you. It's it's like any other event like that. You you're so crowded with people. It's so loud with music and people. Yeah. And uh, we just went and had a quiet moment away from it, and then went right back to it. Hmm. Yeah. Kara and Destiny wound up with uh, feather boas, which Elliot and I wound up walking home wearing. Very cool. Very. We cool. We got more shout outs wearing the boas than the girls did. Of course. And then of course. Um, huh, duh. Come on, bro. And then I got to play my favorite game. Fuck with the political protesters. Really? One guy was sitting there what talking. What is going on, one, man? One guy <laughs> was sitting there. I was like, can I ask you to take a, a, the world's shortest political question uh, questionnaire? It's like, that's not nope. the shortest. Trust me. The short, he's like, just done questions. The shortest is way shorter than that. Yeah. It's the shortest political question I have is why. But um, so I, I saw my girlfriend and Elliot both start taking the test. And I'm about, they get two questions in, and I decide I'm going to join them anyways. And I'm just quasi fucking with the guy, making him still think I'm serious about it. Yeah. And it's just, I knew where this was going. And we all gave completely different answers 100% different answers, right? <laughs> but we all scored the exact same thing on the grid. Huh, I wonder why. That doesn't make any sense. Okay. Oh, well, you qualify to fit right under what we're trying to say that we are, so everyone else wants to. And I wanted to say, look, well, your rival is directly next door. I need another opinion. I need to go talk to them. I'll be yep. right back. And the dude didn't like it. The dude didn't like my attitude. You can okay. tell. Okay. Until I pointed out there were two very suspicious grapes sitting on the trash can right behind him. What? What do yeah. you mean grapes? Yeah, actually, someone just put two grapes there, and both he and Elliot were worried, like, wait, 
what, is that code for something? Yeah. What's going on here? What's going on? Uh, oh my hear, god! I can hear Elliot say, yeah. <laughs> "Is that code for something?" <laughs> yeah, I kind of, I, t- I told them to early on. Pass, I, uh, make I a know, passage of I some sort. I know what this is. I've saw it. I've seen it on a, a college campus before. It's it's a very fixed test. No matter what you score, he's gonna write you here. You're gonna wind up on there. Why do you think there's stickers all over here and the little clear spot where he's put and removed stickers all day? Fair Everyone enough. gets on the same spot because then that way he says you should vote for this because this is where you land. Okay, that's what it is. It's one of those tests. Okay, okay. So yeah, it was pretty pointless, pretty stupid, but it was still fun to fuck with the guy. Fair enough. <laughs> May you probably made his his work day a little bit harder, but at the same time, you know, fuck it. <laughs> and then skinny, tiny little Kara <laughs> still managed to sneak off and go eat like fried food from every country. Yep, there it is. Fried dumplings and not gain a pound. Uh, not she's so and not and not so gain a pound and so gorgeous, but she just never. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what what that is. Oh. So legs, dude. She has hollow legs. No, so there it is. Lovely, it just long, it luscious just, legs. It just falls in there, and it just yeah, just goes to calories. That's I don't know. Maybe that like Polish Japanese mix she has just kind of yeah. does it. She just doesn't ever need to worry about that. Yeah, that might be it as well. But I do have a vagina. I do. Oh, I was gonna tell you that off air, you know, but whatever. I already knew. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But um. I do have the box office for you. The box office for me. I have the box office Read for you. Read the box office for the me, The number one for this weekend, yeah. War Room. War Room. Actually, <laughs> wait a minute, what? War Room. Is, Did nothing come out? Um, No, actually, and nothing new from what I see here did come out. But um, War Room is number one with 12,000,000.5 on its second week. You got to be dicking me, really? Not... <laughs> <laughs> wow! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! It went up ten point six percent. So that's pretty crazy. They have a budget of three million, and they are they are at a total gross of twenty seven point eight million now. Jiminy free, baby Christ! Yeah, Jiminy Christmas. Um, number two, Straight Outta Compton, y'all. Yeah, that movie needs to make the money. That's a good straight fucking film. Straight Outta Compton, dog. And it's on its fourth week, and it's still making eleven point two million. That's great. Uh, that that's very very awesome. It did go down. Um, it, the change did go down in percentage. It was a uh, negative fourteen point one. But the total gross, total budget of the movie itself is twenty eight million. But the total gross that they've made in in all so far is one hundred and fifty million. So they are they're doing great. They've not only they've Literally not doubled but tripled their entire uh, gross. Um, number three, a walk in the woods. A walk in the woods. Have you heard of this? Not too much, actually. Apparently, it's uh, it's it's there. It's uh, it made ten point five million. Um, they don't have the budget available. It's on its first week, and the total gross that is available right now is twelve point six. So it did come out just very recently um number four number four mission impossible rogue nation oh it's still do, going do, 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 it's on its sixth do, week do, 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 a little do, bit over do, a month do, it's still in the theaters do, and do, still going do, 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 and they did beat their budget they finally beat beat their budget not by a lot though they made 9.3 million Went up fourteen percent. So basically, change. this is the first one in a while that can actually afford Tom Cruise. Or I, I, you know what? I can't say that. I don't know what the others have made. Yeah, I don't know. But um, yeah, the the budget for the movie in total was one hundred and fifty million. But the total gross for the movie now on its six week sixth week is one hundred eighty two point five million. So they went ahead and uh, broke budget. Very cool. Very 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 cool. Um, the new transporter refueled is number five. When did that come out? That this is its first week as well. Jesus, um, God. I fucking out of the loop. I don't. Apparently, I don't go on social media enough to go ahead and catch these movies that are coming out. Well, this is the one where they dropped Statham and brought in the new guy. Okay, all right. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll the have guy to... who decided I'm going to be on Game of Thrones for. 
the end of a season and then leave to do this, which is if clearly someone made a poor choice. Yeah, right. But um, it looks looks pretty interesting. They still got the actually that looks like an Audi. That doesn't look like a BMW this time. Yeah, I think it's an Audi this time. Oh, I don't, I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I'm just the, kidding. The first transporter <laughs> is and always will be my favorite. The very first one will oh, be my yeah. favorite. That was the best. <sighs> The that, second one was more action. The third one was more weird. But yeah. the first one was just like, damn, this is a fucking stone cold dude. Yeah, he he got the shit done. So, um, the rules. six, seven, and eight. Number six, no escape. Number seven, inside out. Number eight, the man from Uncle. You're an uncle. Oh shit. That's right. I said it. I called you out on that shit, boy. Oh shit, son. But that is the box office, everybody, and uh, I'm definitely gonna have to go see some f- a few movies. Yeah. yeah, yeah, definitely. I'm gonna have to see that new transporter just so I can mock the new guy <laughs> for the for the for the career choice he's made. Yeah, to go ahead and be transporter. Well, 17. supposedly he's not that bad of an actor, and I can't really say a lot because I've only seen him in the short little bit he was in Game of Thrones. But, no, uh, everyone just kind of banks on him being a pretty boy okay. and an action guy. It's kind of like Thor, you know. Well, but, no, actually, he's actually one of the top yeah, paid actors. We, we, we said that last episode, and I can't believe he's actually making that much money. I can't. The dude's smart. He's he's a good actor in anything other than Thor, by the way. I'm, I'm just going to throw that out there. I don't know. He's well, not a very believable <laughs> Norse god, if you ask me. <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. But, uh, yeah, so um, we're reaching our time here. We are. Yes, yes. Uh, you guys have heard. We've made your ears ring for the last hour and a half, so and we've uh, we've uh, accidentally prank called someone. Yes, that was actually pretty good. And <laughs> Team Christian, we are the winners. No way, we totally won. B- Team Bryant won that shit. We actually have proof that you lost. No way, I was just taking bigger drinks. We, no, we have actual tallied proof. No way. All right, I don't believe it. When I edit this, I'll let you know. All right, fair enough. Actually, All right, yeah. Well, I guess that's it. Yeah, that's, uh, I guess, uh, Labor Day Monday right that, there. That's Labor Day Monday. Labor Day Monday, man. I guess we're going to call it quits, and you guys are just going to have to wait till next week to see us. Or, oh, or, or, or you can just go ahead and listen to our new shitty movie commentary. Yes, uh, we're going to go watch a movie. We're going <laughs> to we're gonna do you all a favor. We're going to find a reason for you to actually watch the horrible movies that are out there in this world. Yes, and that means that we're going to watch them for you. We're going to watch them, <laughs> and we're going to provide you our recorded commentary. Yes. And we're going to make a fun drinking game out of it. Yes, that as well. And while this is going on, you can press play, watch the movie with us, and just have a good time. Yes. You get to hang out with us again. Come on. Let's be honest. Who doesn't want to hang out with us more? That's actually very true. Yeah. yeah. I, I want to hang out with myself all the time. Yeah, me, me too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so... So, as always, you can find us on social media. You can find us on iTunes, on iHeartRadio, on Spreaker, on anything you want. And please, on every one of those, please click like, rate, five-star, review, just share it. Love us. We love you. So, please, spread the word, spread the magic, spread the love. Yes. And, as always, I'm Christian Barrick. I'm Brian. May the awesomeness be with you. Bye.